tell you, we use Indeed a lot for our um, recruiting. And now Indeed has the ability to add assessments, which is pretty cool. So if you're hiring somebody in your finance department, right, you can add an assessment that says, hey, let's see if this person's good at math, right? Or if you're hiring somebody to do a field measure, you know, let's see if this somebody's good with spatial relations. So I think, again, it's making sure you're trying to hire somebody with the right qualifications. And then the other thing we use is, is, is referral fees with our employees. If, if you have employees and you're treating them great, if you really treat them like they're their number one asset, which was what we do, then they're going to enjoy working for you. And then the best referral that you can get is when they go tell a friend or a family member or an acquaintance, hey, we're hiring. You should come interview. And then if we hire them, not only does the employee get a bonus after, I think, 90 days, it's the person who re referred, I think we give 300 or 500 bucks. You know, obviously there are there are going to be um, job specific questions, whether it's finance or polishing or installing. But I think there are certainly, you know, some basic questions that you should be asking everybody is, you know, what is your goal and expectation, you know, of, of coming to work every day? What, you know, again, there there are and everybody can't be the chief. Right. And so you need people to be workers. Right. But, you know, is their goal always to get better? Is their goal to help the company move forward? Right. Um, you know, we, we were a bit really big on, look, this place needs to be a safe haven. You know, are you know, are you good at working with others? And, you know, we say that, but but we, you really need to dive into what that means. You know, somebody could be a great worker, but truthfully, if they bring a lot of drama or if they're a hothead, that doesn't work. Disposition to me is really important for most part, except for the real technical stuff like, you know, finance, like that almost everything else we can teach if you have the right attitude. And you have the right disposition and you want to learn. Many times I think owners and managers don't really know what they're looking for. And, and by that, you know, I talk to fabricators all the time at all these different conferences and when talking to them about software and they're talking about, well, how do you find a good employee? I said, well, what does your job description say? And it's amazing how many guys just stop right there and go, oh, yeah, I don't have a job description. So it's really hard to judge. If somebody is good, if you're hiring the right person, if you don't really know what the qualifications are. And then once you hire somebody, if they don't have a job description, how do they know how they're doing? So we tell that, you know, how do they know what right looks like? And so what one of the things that we do is we give everybody a job description and then we give them key performance indicators, right? KPIs, which KPIs have been around forever. And then every day on a daily basis, here's what our expectations are, whether it's a square foot per man hour goal whether it's a quality control goal, whatever it might be. Because every day, somebody needs to know how they did. Did they win today? If you give everybody transparency, if everybody knows what you're trying to accomplish, they will move mountains for you. I think that's step one. If you do that with your employees, they're going to have a self, they're going to have, they're going to feel satisfaction because every day they're going to come in, they're going to know where they stand. Am I doing well? Am I not doing well? And then that makes them happy right? And then they're challenged. And so then they'll tell other people. And so we have very little turnover because I think we pe treat people great. We recognize that our employees are our number one asset. So I think if you can do those things, you end up with great staff. I think it is incredibly important regardless of the size. And in some, in some ways, I mean, it's incredibly important when you're small because you have five people and truthfully, those people probably have a larger list of things that they do, right? The bigger you get, the more siloed you can become should you want to be like, hey, I'm just going to be doing finance. But if you're small, maybe you're like, hey, I'm doing finance. I'm also going to do purchasing. I'm also going to call the customer and I'm going to do scheduling, right? But I think having those job descriptions, KPIs and reviews are incredibly important. So we have a social media marketing coordinator. Her name's Mackenzie. She's amazing. And she runs our, we have, we have an external Facebook page for all of our customers, right? Or, for, you know, anybody, but then we have an internal one. And so she does, you know, every couple of weeks, she does a spotlight on an employee, right? She interviews them, takes pictures. Here's what's going on. Morwer does that too, which is actually cool. Um, we celebrate every, everybody gets their own birthday day. You know, like we don't do a birthday month. It's like, Hey, it's your own birthday. Everybody gets their own cake. We celebrate it with your department. 
she posts all that work anniversaries, anything special that's going on. And I think when you do those things and you engage your employees, so they're not just punching in and punching out every day, it becomes more than just a job, right? We try to offer careers to people. And, and some people say, well, you can't offer somebody a career who's just polishing and making, you know, $15 an hour. And I disagree with you. I think you certainly can. Mm 